again, generally speaking, how toxic uh, is people's drinking water? It varies from community to community. Sure. Uh, some, uh, I wouldn't touch their water. Uh, anything that comes out of the Colorado River, say, we're going to see a little increase of toxins down there, mm -hmm. particularly something called perchlorates, which is in rocket fuel. Uh, Governor of Arizona would say, hey, we have very little amount of it. Well, the research actually says very small amounts have greater effect on human health than large quantities. So it's almost, you might say, a homeopathic type of situation there. So very small quantities of perchlorates are really diff and they're dangerous for human health. Some communities, I lived in Lake Tahoe for a while. That lake is, you know, pristine. The water comes from two miles out. Perfect water, no problems. But you get the atmospheric fallout. You get some in that lake, even though it's the most protected in the country. Uh, now with fracking going on, we have the waters being poisoned, wells being poisoned. Uh, in some areas, it doesn't matter. In some, it you know, really changes the, the nature of the water to the point where you can't even drink it out of the faucet. I'm not a big fan of bottled water, because where do they get it? Same municipal taps that we get our water from. And, you know, they're, their standards are okay, but not as high as I'd like. Some people absolutely need filtration systems on their water supply just to be safe.